Hi third graders. For today's writing lesson, we are going to be talking all about our writing notebook covers. So all of you, whether you are hybrid and you come into school like Team Courage and Team Excellence, or if you're Team Respect and you're full remote, you should all have bought yourself a writing notebook. If you don't have one, please make sure to let Miss Quinn or myself know and we will make sure to help you get one. So your writing notebook might be in school or you might have it at home if you are a full remote student. But what we're going to do is we want to take and make these notebooks special to us. This is where we're going to be doing all of our amazing writing. We're going to be generating ideas. This is where our heart maps are living inside our writing notebook. So we want to make these special and personal for us. So we're going to decorate our writing notebook covers today. And you have the choice of doing your writing notebook cover digitally on the computer or using a piece of paper and scissors, glue stick, and anything that you would want to use to decorate this notebook. So you can be taking pictures that you have and make sure you have permission from your parents and your um, grown-ups at home beforehand to cut pictures and glue them onto your notebook. You can draw pictures and cut them out and put them onto your notebook. You can use cool tape or colored paper and make designs on here. Or you could even just kind of color in on your notebook like this and you can do that if you wanted to do it out of paper and any materials that you have to glue it right onto your notebook cover. So if you decide to do that, then you don't have to use the attached document that I'm going to be showing you in a second that's on your Google Classroom um, lesson activity. So if you make your own physical writing notebook cover out of paper and you glue it directly onto your notebook, take a picture of your notebook cover and then attach it to this lesson and there will be another tutorial video that'll show you how to attach a picture or another document to any lesson that you are submitting to show us your work. Um, so if you do make it right onto your notebook, make sure that you take a picture and submit it to us when you turn your lesson in. If you would like to make it digitally, which we can then print off and glue onto our writing notebooks, you will use the document that you're seeing right now on your screen that you will also find attached to this Google Classroom lesson. So the way you're going to make your digital writing notebook cover is by using all the tools here in Google Drawings. Now this is very similar to the tools that you will see in both Google Slides and Google Docs, but I'm just gonna review them so that way you know where they are and how to use them to create your personal writing notebook. So I wanna add my name on here so that way everyone knows it's my writing notebook. And one really cool thing that you can use in Google Drawings is word art. To get to the word art, you are going to go up to insert and let me just make sure my mouse is showing you. Whoops, here we go. So I'm going to go to insert word art and then I'm going to type in what I want it to say. So for me, I'm going to say Miss Foley's writing notebook. And I want to make it be in two lines, not just one straight line. So it says to use the shift key and hold that down and then push enter and that'll start a new line and now to save it I'm just gonna hit enter and now it is creating my word art here so let me just turn off my cursor for a second so now once highlighted on my word art I can change the font to be whatever I want I like ribeye marrow that's a fun font that I like I can change the colors and I can either just choose one color up here and I get to that by using the paint bucket while I'm clicked onto my font or I can do gradient which is cool because it kind of makes it multiple colors which you'll see if I make this a little larger so I can drag it from the corner here to make it bigger and you can kind of see that it kind of fades from like a red to like a pink here and I can even change to the outline color of my word. So if I wanted the border to be blue, I could do that. And then it kind of brings in another color or purple or black. 
or I could even choose to have it be a white border, which I do like that. Okay, and I'm gonna also make my font bold so it makes my words a little thicker. So I got to that by clicking on my font and then this B means bold. This I here makes it italics, which kind of slants it, but that I don't wanna do, I just want it bold. Okay, so I have Miss Foley's writing notebook. I then wanna add in some shapes. So to get to my shapes, I have the shape tool right here on the toolbar. So if you click on that, you have all different shapes, arrows, speech bubbles, and like stars, and then different math symbols. So maybe you love math and you wanna include that on there too. Um, but there's all different shapes here and banners and arrows and all different things. I think I am going to add a star. So I'm gonna come here and click on that. And now I'm gonna click down, hold, and drag to make my star. And then I can change the color by going up to the fill bucket. I'm going to choose, and again, I can do the gradient just like I did on my name. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna change the border color to white. And now I want another copy of this star. So I'm gonna click down on it and I'm gonna hit, you can either hit Control C, uh, sorry, yeah, Control C or Command C to copy and then click off of it and do Command V or Control V and it makes the copy. Or what you can always do too is click on it with two fingers to do copy or up here too where it says edit and you can copy and paste and it shows you what to do. I'm on my Mac computer, not a Chromebook, so that's why my symbols might look a little different here on the bar that shows you the symbols that you have to use to make the shapes. But on a Chromebook, it would be Control C, Control V. So Control C is copy and those are on your keyboard and then Control V pastes. So if you wanna do copy and paste or you could just create it multiple times. I also want to add some pictures in here to show some things that I really love because remember you're writing notebook you're writing about things and people and places that are special to you that you love so you want to include images of things that are special to you things that inspire you so I know a lot of third graders love to include pictures of themselves and their family or their friends or their pets so you can definitely do that if you have pictures you can upload them onto here or if you're making it physical and you've printed off pictures, you can cut them out and glue them on. I know that dance is really special to me, so I am going to insert some pictures that I just find online that represent dance. There's two different ways that you can find pictures. You can either use this insert image icon right here in the toolbar and then either upload it from your computer or get it from the web, or you could even use the camera feature and take a picture right then and there to insert or you could always click on insert and then image that way. So all the places, all the different things that you might use, like your shapes, your text boxes, your word art, line tool, they can all be done by just coming up here to insert as well as right here in your toolbar. So there are a few different places that you can find those items. So I'm gonna do insert, image, search the web, and I just have to move myself quickly so I can come over here to search. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to type dancer and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to see all different images pop up. So I can click on whatever images I want. I really like this one. So I'm going to click on it and then click insert and now it's going to bring it into my document and I can take and resize it however I want, how big or how small I want it. I can resize it however I'd like. I can go up to this top blue circle and rotate it if I want it on an angle. So I can do it like that. I also have told you all that I really like glitter and I like things that are sparkly. So I'm gonna add an image of glitter to it. So I'm gonna search the web, Oops, move myself, glitter. Ooh, some good ones. I think I'm gonna do this one here, insert. And I'm gonna rotate it. So I'm gonna click on that top blue circle, and rotate it. So that way the glitter is coming from this corner here. But now you see how it went over my name? 
So the trick for that is you're gonna click onto the image with two fingers and it says order and I'm gonna send it to the back. I want the glitter one to be behind my words. So I'm gonna click send to back. And now you'll see that that picture is behind my name there. So I could even, if I wanted to, I could take and drag the glitter to be the entire page if I wanted and I can resize it. So it ends up being a background. So if I do that, I might wanna make my words a little bit easier to see. So what I can even do is now I'm clicking back onto my name and I can take and add a border. So up here where these lines are, I'm gonna add a border. Oh, that's on my name actually. Whoops, sorry. So yeah, I can make my um, name have a little bit thicker of a border so that way it really stands out and maybe doing a black border might help it stand out even more. So I can do that. But if you wanted it to have a background, that's the trick that you can do like I did with the glitter is you use that image and you just drag it so it fits the whole entire screen because with Google Drawings, it's a little different than Google Slides where you can't just fill the background. So here with your Google Drawing, you just take and you put an image there, you double click on it, and when it says order, you're gonna send it to the back. So that way your picture that you want as your background is all the way in the back. So you can take and make this as detailed and fancy and fun as you want, or you can keep it simple and that's fine too, but just make sure it definitely has your name on it. Because what we will then do is if you have a printer at home, you can print this off and we will glue them directly onto our notebook covers. Or if you don't, we'll do that for you at school. And even if you're a full remote student, we will make sure that we get these pictures mailed to you so you can glue them onto your writing notebooks. So have so much fun third graders creating your special writing notebooks and we cannot wait to see how creative you get. Have fun.